Hello everyone and welcome back to Shonen Archive, a series in which me and Zenrot have dedicated our entire lives to watching every single Shonen Jump anime that is available to us until the entire universe implodes on top of us, or we simply run out of stuff, or we run out of life. Whichever one of those three options happens first. I'm here with Zen. Hello. Hello, and we're here. It's exciting, Zen. We're here to talk about Chainsaw Man. <laughs> Oh boy! One I'm so of, uh, excited. Chainsaw Man is finally out. Yes. So yeah, we have been planning on this for a while. We originally wanted to do it right when Chainsaw Man came out. Um, this is one of the things that we had been uh, waiting for. If you were wondering, by the way, the thing that's supposed to be replacing, uh, not replacing, but the next thing after Yu-Gi-Oh GX, it's not Chainsaw Man. It's something else. This is just something else we can do extra because it's literally going on as it's going on now. So these will probably be shorter because we'll usually do one episode at a time. But we weren't able to cover the other two Wednesdays that we would normally record because work has just been completely dogging both of us. <laughs> Same time. But now we're here to talk about Chainsaw Man, man. Chainsaw Man, man? What am I doing? Man! It's unfortunate that all my uh, uh, sentences end with man, so it's going to be really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and shades of it. Ah, so yeah. Before I actually try and ex- explain what Chainsaw Man is, we should be forefront and say both me and Zen love Chainsaw Man, the manga. Yes, I fucking love Chainsaw Man so much. It, it's mm. I love everything Fujimoto does, but Chainsaw Man especially, I'm like fucking in love with. Yeah, I. I remember when I first started Chainsaw Man because a friend of mine, Nabe, said, hey, did you know there's a new Shonen Jump thing called uh, Chainsaw Man? And I said, I had no idea. He said, you should check it out because that sounds, I can tell you from right now, from that first chapter, this is something you would like. And I said, really? And I checked it out and there was nothing but crazy blood and guts everywhere. And I said, this is something I would like. (laughs) This man has a chainsaw head and his fucking knee dudes up. I love it. I'm into it. And since then, I have been able to catch up with Chainsaw Man. I was... Me and you were both there to kind of see the slow emergence of Chainsaw Man as it went forward. Which is crazy to think about a time before everyone kind of knew what Chainsaw Man was. So... Yeah, how did you end up seeing it? Were you able? I forget. Did you did you start right from the beginning, or did you pick up when it was like a couple chapters in? Uh, with Chainsaw Man, I started right from the beginning. We were mm. in there the whole time. Nice, very nice. So yeah, for the people who don't know who Chainsaw Man is, this is going to be the shortest explanation in the world. Um, Chainsaw Man is a manga that came out for <laughs> Shonen Jump, and it came out sometime in December 2018. And since then, it's kind of been slowly building up. If you've ever seen someone say, this video has Chainsaw Man pacing, it's due to this manga. <laughs> There's some specific jokes out there that are directly influenced by Chainsaw Man, which is crazy to think about. It's not that old. <laughs> it is barely, like, oh, it's actually... F- almost f- Two years is the run of part one, and then we're here currently in the second part. So it's kind of crazy to think of, like, for a manga that's only been here, that was only here for two years, it was able to kind of, like, generate so much note about it, right? Crazy. It is a little bit wild. It is a little bit wild. It is wild. Um, Because usually most manga blow up when the anime comes out. Yeah, that's kind of like the the stereotypical sales chart right you'll see Mm -hmm. like the initial one and it's like a little bit and then we hit the anime release and it like the chart flies up it's like the most ridiculous mountainous increase yeah yeah but chainsaw man's a little bit different in that it feels like just the word of mouth of people going you need to check this shit out (laughs) was enough to kind of get it out there a little bit more known which is funny because then usually the anime is where you reserve it to see it kind of blow up. And to be fair, once since this anime has come out, the aesthetic accounts have started posting Chainsaw Man stuff. So it's over now. <laughs> Chainsaw Man has reached the peak of all anime. <laughs> yeah, Chainsaw Man is mainstream. We've done it. Yep. We did it, everyone. Moving on to the next show and jump. <laughs> Waiting for it to come out and talk about it. Ah, but... 
I'm happy. We're so hyped to be talking about this. So we're going to talk about these two episodes. Our plan is for usually it's going to be when Wednesday we will record. So hopefully Thursday you would see something related to Chainsaw Man. Um, specifically talking about the new episode. But if we miss that date, it's because literally work f- fucked us over. <laughs> so <laughs> if maybe there'll be some episodes where we talk a little bit more. But that's the plan going forward. So get ready for it. I can't wait to talk about this. All right, Zen. Are you ready? Let me get an official episode summary mm-hmm. so I don't forget anything because I definitely will. Yes. If- I hate when I use Google and I'm like, it knows what I'm talking about. And I just type in episode one and I, I just assume it's going to fill in Chainsaw Man for me. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, clear- uh, it went to Star Wars episode one. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, uh, loading up Star Wars episode one. We know you want to see Jar Absolutely is what happened. Hit me up yeah, with so- that sweet Jar Jar nicotine that I need. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Perfect. Um, yeah, so we get you know the initial introduction. It's the it's the pilot episode. So we see a dogs and chainsaw is the name of this episode, by the way. Yes, which mm-hmm. is the exact same name as the as chapter one, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, so we see Denji and Pochita, and he's working as a devil hunter. We get a little backstory into why Denji owes these people all this money. And how they basically are abusing him over it. Um, we get the backstory of how he meets Pochita, where he sees that Pochita is bleeding out, and he offers to let him drink his blood to save his life. So they become kind of buddies, and they, they make like a deal, where Denji's like, you have to help me too. And they become devil hunters together. Um he gets another devil hunting job to go to an abandoned factory to hunt a devil, but it turns out that they actually were being manipulated by the zombie devil, uh, and the zombie devil hates devil hunters and has Denji killed. And then we get another flashback of Denji and Pachita where he's like, "If I, I know that some devils uh, can take over people's bodies when they die, so if I ever die, you can have my body because you're my homie. Pochita fuses with his body and brings him back to life, repairs all of his injuries and stuff, including things like his missing eye that he had previously sold and are his now ball. healed. His and his ball right. that he had yeah. sold, I assume, is back. I guess I don't know that We never sure. get confirmation on this, but we can get the author's confirmation that he has two balls. That the <laughs> ball has come back. Yeah. yeah, that's the one thing I've been curious about. Yeah, and then we get this little scene where he gets out of the dumpster that they throw him in, and he's got the pull cord for Pochita's chainsaw out of his chest. And then the zombies attack him, but he bursts out of the pile of zombies in his devil form as Chainsaw Man starts cutting them apart. And then he is located in this factory by Makima and two other agents. And uh, as she hugs him, he turns back into normal and agrees to work with her in exchange for not being executed. Yeah. And he seems happy with it as well. And that's the end of episode one. There's something to make note of this. Apparently every single episode is going to have a different ED in it. Um, based off of these two episodes. Um, that is true. The OP stays the same. The OP I ended up really liking. <laughs> it's a very quick uh, reference to kind of get you into the mood of what Chainsaw Man's about. And I thought it was very well done. Um, it's got a lot of reference to future characters, like um, the one that's... This is going to be a little bit weird, because we know who the characters are, but I will try my best to not spoil too many things. But it's not a spoiler. It's just really funny that Power takes the seat of one of them <laughs> in the theater. Yes. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was really funny <laughs> seeing it again. <laughs> I love that. Um I liked it when they did a the fucking power swimsuit thing, and it's clear that she's patting herself. <laughs> and then they see in the background, they do the the almost board, almost like it feels like a reference to the meme of like, what about the guy drowning drowning behind him? It's not about him, but it's like <laughs> Denji in a dog collar and stuff like that. Some great stuff of him waxing the balls. Just a great, fun OP for this, and a lot of movie references as well. Too many references to name, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> It's a lot. 
Um, but I yeah, thought it was it's like one. ten, but it's so good. Also, the song's really good. Yeah, I really like the song. I really like the song too. Fantastic stuff. Uh, the animation in here, extremely well done. Done by Mappa. You know those people ain't leaving their jobs, so you know that they're animating very well. Yeah, they ain't ever going home, but the nope. anime looks nice. Damn. When I saw that, that some of that stuff was not actually in 3D, I said, they need to get those people out of there. Are you fucking yeah, insane? Yeah, for the love of God, some, some care packages in there or something. Gotta give them something. I was like, God damn, because everyone's like, oh yeah, 3D, because that's obviously 3D. And then the reveal, when they did like the, the prestige reveal where they said, actually, that was 2D, I was like, damn. You have some talented people there that deserve to be in better condition. Yeah, Come that on, deserve man. not to be exploited. Yeah, but beautifully animated. <laughs> you can't deny that. It looks great. Um, which I was really... Uh, was one of the things that was like... They could either do this really well, they could do it really bad. The manga for Chainsaw Man is very stylized. To the point where I was like, uh, kind of depending on how they go, it could either go good or bad like i could see it ending up in two different ways and funny enough the people who were like so many people were ready to just be like actually it's 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 like they were hovering the the tweet over the i can't believe it's mid i've waited all this tears and it's like dude it's not you're reacting to like three minutes of footage shot from behind someone's back on a camera <laughs> judging the the quality of it but no it ends up looking fantastic but just to show how much the anticipation was for this episode it was it was nuts <laughs> it was crazy um but i thought they did a fantastic job here um i really like pochita i think everyone loves pochita yeah is... pochita's become like the new the new anya for this for this <laughs> anime season yep who is not coming back <laughs> unfortunately except for in some other ways cuz uh at least as far as I'm aware of. There might be some other, like... Because in the next episode, they have a little bit more Pachita, but it's not the same level of... There's, like, Anya. some flashback stuff, but, yeah, he's... Yeah. No. For the most part, yeah. Probably not going to see very much of him. Uh, but we'll see on that a little bit more. But I also like, in general, this premise of there being Chainsaw Devils. They, I think they make mention that the devils are whatever scares you. Like, if something you can elicit fear, that's where the power of a devil comes from. So that's why there's stuff like Chainsaw Devil and Zombie Devil and Eggplant Devil, which is in the next episode. <laughs> All these devils that are based off of fears. Which is really funny because I forgot about that. And based off of some of the devils that we're going to see over the course of, this, of the series, it makes you really wonder. Damn, someone was afraid of that the entire time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, people are afraid of everything. Someone's it's afraid of it. Yeah, that that's true. That's why you can have a cat devil because obviously there's dudes who are gonna be afraid of cats. It's gonna be a little bit different from like the uh, di dying from like a falling on ice devil, who's obviously gonna be more powerful <laughs> than just a regular cat. But actually, I don't know about that. Well, yeah, who knows about that? But yeah, I thought it was very well done. I thought it was a good introduction to Denji. Uh, I forgot kind of how bad Denji's life was. Just it's it's absolute crap. The things that he had to go through, yes. and it makes me kind of like endeared to him in a way that I forgot that. Because at, at a certain point, I just remember I really like Denji, but then you hear people go like, "Oh, but Denji's kind of an asshole." And I'm like, "Yeah, he is." But there's a reason I like him, and I think it's specifically this stuff here where it's like, "Well, he had an extremely shitty life." <laughs> he, there's no denying his life was just like completely bad. He doesn't have any form of education. He's, his entire life has been dedicated to trying to wipe away a debt that he inherited from his dad um, committing suicide. Like, he's never been allowed any form of rest. He's, like, eating cigarette butts and going, like, oh, I got some yen. That means I can have some bread. The thing he wants most in life is some bread with some fucking jam on it. This is how bad uh -huh. this guy's life is. It's just complete shit. But the things that he wants is something that's very, like, true to any person, where it's like... My life sucks right now, but God, just one day, I'm going to have some good shit. I'm going to be able to get the good food. Like, it's something that's very relatable, where it's just like... I, I've had moments like this, where it's specific, like, where I did not have a place that I would consider my own, and I'd be, like, just sitting there thinking about, like, all the things I would do the second it's there, and that's what Denji's doing. And it ends up making me, like, really endeared to the character, even though he is, like I said, a complete idiot. <laughs> He's an idiot that I like. Yeah, uh, I mean, he's 
fucking fantastic. <laughs> I mm-hmm. love that. I love all the characters in Chainsaw Man. They're all really good. Mm-hmm. But Denji, like, there's really good character stuff with him in this where, like, his life sucks, but he still kind of has that moment where he's like, I didn't appreciate, like, necessarily the good stuff that I had. Because, like, you know, I had Pochita there with me the whole time, and, like, we did have these moments of happiness even if our life sucked, and I guess I kind of took that for granted. So it was, like, a cute little lesson of, you know, no matter mm-hmm. how your life, how bad life is, there are things in there to be happy about and make mm-hmm. sure that you appreciate them. It's true. I've I've had definite moments and the specifics of him in the next episode where he's, like, enjoying life, but he's enjoying life and also still thinking back to Pochita, who was not there to be there with him, basically. And I'm like, yeah, I've definitely felt that before, where you're like, it's like living your life up specifically because something has motivated you, like the losing of someone who was very important to you. And I thought like, ah, damn, I've definitely felt that before. So I think he ends up being very, a very human protagonist, a very relatable one, even with uh, some of the crazy things that he ends up wanting in life as well. Uh, but yeah, anything else you have to say about this episode other than it's really good? <laughs> Nothing specific. I, I, it's so early that like you can't, other than like, oh, they adapted this really well from the manga. Like you can't really, yeah, talk too much about it yet because they had nothing too crazy has happened yet. Um, mm-hmm. I think the action was that well done. Like, I, I know you you know you talked about it a little bit, but like the people freaking out about the the visuals looking bad, looking through like a 1993 cell phone camera through 15 rows of seats and shit. <laughs> um, and they're like, oh no, it's mid. It's terrible. And it's like, shut up. Like, yeah, <laughs> It looked fine coming out. Falling Some to their the... knees in the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, like screaming as their fucking cart tips over. Like, it, it's just not that serious. No, it's, uh, it's it was, not. It, it was really good. Uh, there were a couple moments where I was like, that looks kind of weird, but like not hardly any. And all the action looked great. The fight with the zombie devil was amazing. Mm-hmm. It's some great uh, voice acting as well from everyone so far as well. Sound effects sound good. And I think, yeah, just all overall very well done. I remember the manga version being much more bloodier, but I also take that as an understanding of, you know, sometimes you can't go that crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was. The manga version was definitely bloodier, but like you get away with it more. Yeah, you can definitely get away where it's in black and white, and it's like, oh, then who cares? They'll they'll be fine. They're gonna read up on my hero next episode, and they'll have their own form of blood, and it's perfectly fine and acceptable. So I I take that as a I understand to a certain extent when you have to like animate it and specifically go through like a sensor board. <laughs> you can't probably yeah. go all out. And you know, in exchange, they did like uh, extend the fight a little bit. Like we got some expanded stuff that was not in the. Like yeah, original not... fight, so yeah, that was cool. into, yeah, and they were still able to do the thing, which was uh, showing that Denji had been dismembered. Uh-huh. Uh, I was like, damn, because if you don't know the the Chainsaw Man manga went into some crazy places. I think it's still one of the only modern ones where they said we're not putting this chapter on the app. Feel free yeah, to go look they, at there, it. There is one chapter of Chainsaw Man. Where they refused to put it on the the Shonen Jump like digital vault app, you had to go to the website yep. if you wanted to read it. It's like go to the website, please. Yeah, I guess the app has stricter censorship on it or something. I guess because it has like mobile store rules that it has to abide by. Yeah, I think that's probably likely what happened. But I remember going like, "Damn, that's the only one that has pushed anything so far." So just to let you know, some things go crazy in this one. But yeah, perfectly good first episode. Sets up some nice stuff. Good introduction to Ev Denji. Pachita, full of bread. Who doesn't love him? <laughs> Everyone loves him. They made him the most market. They made the the devil the most marketable plush you could imagine. <laughs> yes, just fully lovable. And yeah, I also really like the way he wields him as well. It's always really funny seeing him using him like a real chainsaw that can smile back at you. <laughs> Do you think someone is made is gonna make a chainsaw that's actually just Pochita? I and, hope like, so. Look, God. There, like the, there, I've seen a lot of pet uh like costumes of Pochita. I want one really bad for our dogs. That sounds great. I could probably I could probably convince my sister to buy one to put up her dogs in. <laughs> we'll see. 
But let's go on to the next episode, which is Arrival in Tokyo. Episode 2. Go ahead, Zen. So episode 2 kicks off where episode 1 ends, where he's still with Makima. They're driving him back from the factory. They stop to get some noodles. Some, I believe it's just udon, like curry noodles. Um, And he gets introduced to like the devil hunter association the the yeah whatever government agency i forget what the name of it is that makima works for um and he gets assigned to aki's division we get introduced to aki's a new character and as they're walking around aki like beats him up for a minute and is like you need to quit because i've seen people join this job for dumb reasons and it always gets them killed and you're, you're only sure doing this because because you want to bang Makima, and that's a stupid reason, so you're going to die if you stay here. And he does not uh, deny that. He says, yeah, you're damn right I do. <laughs> yes, yes, he does. Um, and so Aki kind of beats him up for a minute, and then Adenji gets up, and we get the slow-mo run, <laughs> where he runs after him and kicks him square in the nuts. And he just starts, like, barraging him by kicking him in the dick over and over again. <laughs> And he's like, wow, you must be a nice person, uh, Aki, because when I fight dudes, I just kick them in the nuts. <laughs> I go straight for the nuts. Yeah, and he just kicks him in the nuts over and over again. So then Aki gets up, and like after he does it for a while, um, and then uh, he, he like punches Denji again, and uh, Denji <laughs> just kicks him in the nuts again. <laughs> And Aki's, like, on the ground, fucking choking. And he just goes, like, oh my god, you really did only hit me in the nuts. And then he blacks out. Oh my god. So They go back to the main headquarters, and Aki's like, oh, I see you two are getting along. And Denji's like, yeah, he got attacked by the nuts devil. (laughs) (laughs) Damn crazy, he just gave (laughs) the nut devil. (laughs) The Dutch devil. Um, and then he goes and uh, kills a fiend, which is a dead human body possessed by a devil. Um, Denji wonders if he is like one. He's like, does that does that count as what I am? And we we kind of get some lore bits here where he's like, no, you're you're special because you don't have the you don't have like devil horns on you, um, which which makes you different. Um, he kills the fiend with an axe instead of going into chainsaw mode because he doesn't want to get blood on the porno magazines on the floor mm-hmm. um, which he takes yeah. and then that inspires him to chase his new goal of touching boobs specifically um, he, Makima's boobs at the beginning, specifically at Makima's at the time well actually yeah. no not really not yet because mm-hmm. um, at first he does and then he gets introduced to power who is on his team um, and then he's like, and, new. And then he sees lost. that she has uh, boobs as well, and he's like, "Oh, great! Uh, I'm very pleased to meet you." <laughs> <laughs> he goes from protesting to going, oh, "Yes, yes, <laughs> let's go." And, um, they're kind of just patrolling the streets, looking for devils, and there aren't any. Um, powers like, "Oh, they're probably attacking us because I used to be a super strong devil." And then Denji thought that um, Aki did it on purpose to fuck him over, so he won't get any glory for killing devils. Um, and then the sea cucumber devil gets reported <laughs> as as being somewhere, and Power jumps off a building and destroys it. With a hammer. With a giant blood hammer. Real, yep, and that's the end of the episode. <laughs> and then we get the the second ED for this episode, which I thought was really nice. It was a very, like... For an episode that is mainly, like, kicking dudes in the nuts, <laughs> it's a very a nice ED, actually. Which kind of, kind of, like, sums up the actual episode of what you just saw, which I thought was cool. So, uh, in terms of this episode, I'll ask you starting off first this time, Zen. What did you feel about this episode? It was really good. Um, Power is voiced by the same voice actress who does Jolene. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, she's really great. She's amazing as power as well. Aki's voice actor is also really good. Um, a lot of the the like house scenes where Denji's in Aki's house, just like fucking shit up, uh, <laughs> are really good. Yeah, being the worst roommate ever. Yeah, like the scene where he's got like forty eight things of jam on the table and he's like putting them all <laughs> on one piece of bread. Living his life that he promised last episode where he said the best thing in life is to have bread with some shit on it and he puts all this shit on it. Which is great. It actually makes me kind of wonder if that would actually taste good. If it's just someone who's literally ate nothing is able to appreciate this taste. Probably. The fact that it has flavor at all is probably a big deal. Um, And then the funniest one is like after he fucks everything up, there's one where he just leaves the bathroom and Aki walks in and there's just no toilet paper. (laughs) Yeah, that's it's infuriating. Just, he gets like an anime face, like not played for comedy reaction shot too, where he's like staring at the the empty toilet paper roll. <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it was a very good introduction to kind of what his life is going to be now, and also the fact that he's just gonna be living his life, living it up as the best he can. <laughs> um, anything else specific to say? Not really. I mean, again, animated really well. I like Denji's little axe that he has during this portion for no reason. Mm-hmm. Um, and I really like Power. Power is argue, maybe my favorite character. Either Power or Denji. I love them both. But, I um, think for my for me, power is my favorite character. Yes, and, and they did power really well so far, which I'm excited mm-hmm. to to see more of that. Um, and I really liked the ED for this one. the The ED song for the first one I liked a lot, but the animation I was kind of at on. Mm-hmm. Um, the animation for the ED two was really really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought. Oh, it, I it, guess we didn't mention that. We should probably say like, um, every Chainsaw Man episode is going to have its own ED. So there's going to be twelve different endings, one different one for each episode. Same OP, but different ED. Yes, yeah, same OP, different EDs every time. We'll make sure to try and remember to mention them every single time. But yeah. All right. For my part, things I ended up liking from this, obviously, as Power is my favorite character. There's, without a shadow of a doubt, that Power is my favorite. It was a slow climb in the, begin- in the beginning of Chainsaw Man. It was Denji, and then at some point it becomes Power, and it stays Power till the end of time. <laughs> um... With Denji being second, obviously, for, for me. But I also really like Aki, so it was good kind of seeing old Aki. I completely forgot about... You know that thing where it's like, oh yeah, I read Chainsaw Man so long ago, and there's so much shit that in Chainsaw Man that some of the beginning parts for me I just like could didn't remember? But when he started running, and when they were in the back alley, I was like, I know what's coming up! I can't wait to see this animated! <laughs> and yes. the nut... The nut kick. The nut kick is so good. I'm a big fan of the Jackass series. And let me tell you, they do some fantastic nut shots in there. (laughs) This is up there for me in terms of enjoyable watching of people getting hit in the nuts. It's so well done. So well animated. It's such a thing you would never expect a protagonist to do. Even like, actually, has Yusuke ever kicked someone in the nuts? Uh, I want to say that he probably has. Just he's he definitely like felt that it would. Um, he, he's definitely felt up nuts, which is different. But it he's is never, different. <laughs> that's I different. I feel like he would have if he could have. Yes, I think for sure. I like the. I like that in a protagonist. I like a protagonist who are going like, "Idiot, you turned your back on me. What the hell did you think I was? Honorable? No, get nut kicked. <laughs> mm-hmm. Get get red. And the best part is after he kicks him in the nuts, he just keeps going just doesn't stop that's what makes it so good is that there's just a there's like a primitive level of it but there's also times where i've also felt like an anime situation it's like well obviously if i ever got into a fight i would kick them in the nuts there we're fighting here there's no honor between us i'm going for the nuts it's literally your one weakness it's one weakness that all men have you can train your muscles all you want but no man can train a nut kick (laughs) it's the one thing you can't train (laughs) It's the one part of your body that no matter what will never get stronger. Even with a cup, it hurts. So the fact that he just went so ham on him was really funny. uh, That he's making fun of him. But at the same time, he's like talking down to him. He's like, listen, 
I don't know what you think I am, but let me tell you what I'm currently living. I'm living in uh, with I'm I have someone that pays for my food. I'm able to eat the things I want, and I have money. You're not taking that away from me. Get nut kicked. (laughs) And he's a very very uh, good point here, which is like uh, after he gets fed noodles by uh, Makama, and she says specifically like, "Oh, I've never seen someone so happy to eat." soggy noodles before that's a little bit weird but all right sure it just goes to show that he literally had nothing and now he has like the smallest form of something and he's gonna hold on to it to the bitter end so no amount of like trying to like beat him up and be like i'm doing this as a courtesy is gonna work on him including the fact that he also has like i think he says like i have food and i have a a hot woman to talk to i'm living my best life (laughs) Who could ask for more from this? So I really like that. I like the 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 way he tries to like say to Aki, like, oh yeah, no, I gave him a quick death, but then it's very clear that he just wanted the porno mags afterwards to keep him clean, to keep the blood off of him, uh, which is good. Um, here's the thing that I've always wondered, and I've never known where it starts. A lot of people always think that uh, Makima should have a, fa- a fat butt. And I'm here to tell you, Denji has never cared about that. He has nope. always been a man of boobs from day one. He's a boobs man. He is. Yeah. That's the part of Makuma that he wants the most. I don't know where the butt stuff came from. I don't know why it started being um, brought up so often. But doing this episode, like, oh, wait, he never cared about that. It's always been about the boobs. That's the thing that's actually big on her compared to everything else. So I don't know where people were coming from that from. It had to be, like, one specific fan art that just got overdone and it got, like, put up to a million degree but i always wondered about that it was like from what i remember she doesn't have that but she definitely has this which is what he always wants and what he's kind of striving for here um so interesting to see here uh again the introduction is power is really good i really like it when denji says i can put up with anything if it's a hot girl with me (laughs) because at some point power starts annoying him and he's like whatever she's cute she's hot so i'm going to live with this it's okay (laughs) And he's like, yeah, perfect. Love him. Love him 100%. That's my protagonist right there. The occasionally horny idiot that also just wants to feel up a boob because he never thought in life it would be possible. And he even makes the mention of like, I never, you know, I I obviously can't score. But he's like, but I have a job now. That's obviously enough for some boob, am I right? Like, the idea of his head is like, at what point in your life do you are you good enough to achieve these things? And his head is like, well, I have a stable job now and I can eat food. I think that's at least enough for a boob touch somewhere. So, I appreciate him and his thought process. It's a very well done thought process. But yeah, fantastic. I loved it. Loved seeing through all this stuff again. Really good. And yeah, I hope the quality keeps up from this point. <laughs> because they're doing a great job so far. Yes, they really are. Uh, I'm I'm really hoping that it stays up. I know some people are complaining, like, oh, there's, there's, they're leaving out little bits, but like, I don't, I just don't care that much. Uh, yeah, about yeah, the the, the big out one is, bits. yeah, the the part where he's not talking about like, um, having a job. No, what not not having a job, complaining about his job or something. Um, where, he's uh, where he talks about his he's, his job is a union job. Um, yeah. Which is funny. Um, yeah, it's very clear why they didn't animate that. <laughs> because the the people at MAP have never heard the word union. <laughs> they probably would have taken that as uh, communist propaganda and taken it out back to straight it forward, forward. But yeah, it's fine. I, they are also adding some stuff, which is pretty nice. Like the when Denji's tie in the manga is very nice and kept up. But here it's not. So that Makima can have it done for him that's how i feel based off of these episodes that's how i felt back when i was reading it as well we'll see how that ends up playing out but yeah well done we'll see how it keeps on going forward uh there's what 13 episodes total 12 12 perfectly fine for what so where do you think it's going to end up then based off of the op we can probably guess some stuff but uh it's kind of hard to say Mm, 12 episodes though the thought is that they're going to condense it down a lot because the first season's supposed to cover part one. 
supposedly like like mm-hmm. 24ish episodes um that seems optimistic but i guess i don't know exactly um yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now that you've mentioned that part that this season twenty four episodes of Do Part One, it's possible, but hey, we'll see. Because some chapters are literally just fighting at some point, and yet it's like, yeah, you can animate an entire fight to do one episode or so, or depending on it. But I, I guess we'll wait and see on that. But for right now, I'm really enjoying it. Some good OPs, good CDs, good VAs being done. Fantastic job. So I'm looking forward to talking about it again. Hopefully uh, on the correct time next week. <laughs> this Wednesday, I guess. Well, we'll find out. Yay, we'll it find out, buddy. It that way, it doesn't. <laughs> no, but if not, we'll figure out a way to record it at some point and talk about it. Uh, and if you're curious about Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, we need, a, we need a Wednesday. There's a lot to fucking talk about. <laughs> it's the yes. entire end of season we one. Need a full day. Yeah, we're, we're doing that right. God damn it. They deserve it. <laughs> That's a fantastic end of the season. It deserves its own uh, standalone for us to just talk about all the good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I enjoy talking Chainsaw Man, and I can't wait to do it again. Uh, but that's the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to show support, you can always leave a like. You can comment down below and do all the other stuff. But in general, watching is good enough for us. If you want to check out Zen, you can check him out with Shonen and Chill, which is on his channel. I link it here. I better goddamn remember to link it here. But you can check it out. He does that with Ocean Man. It's very well done. Um, and if you want more me stuff... I'm, yeah, I'm doing my Halloween things. This counts as Halloween stuff for Zen, by the way. I'm not going to put that Chainsaw Man. Hall- <laughs> yeah, Chainsaw Man counts as a horror thing because there's some horrific things in it. Oh, actually, Wikipedia puts one of the genres as horror. Comedy horror. I, I'll agree with that. <laughs> it's a comedy horror. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. This counts as a 13 Nights of Halloween with Zen, so technically he didn't miss out, but we will be continuing on for however long Chainsaw Man is with us. Uh, and if you're curious why we didn't do Bleach, it's because I have not seen Bleach. And if you're wondering what about Spy X Family, it's because we had to start that from the start. And Jiju Jutsu Kaisen is the exact same way. We just got very lucky with Chainsaw Man. <laughs> we got the yeah, best Yeah, it luck just possible. happened to come out like as the, the show was already like going on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, we will continue on with those stuff. No worries. And we'll, of course, Gantama will also continue with its things. But yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. I'm going to have a nightmare trying to find an OP and ending for this one, but I'll figure it out. Say goodbye, (laughs) son. Goodbye, everybody.